So guys, uh, gonna go ahead and talk some defense here. First thing we're gonna go over is um, we're gonna be our two defensive fronts that we're gonna utilize this season. It's gonna be very similar to last year. We're still gonna base out of three defensive linemen. Uh, gonna look a lot the same, but we're gonna call them some different things, and it's gonna allow us to get in different fronts and, and give it, give the offense different looks uh, than we were able to last season. The first front that we'll go over, it will be our will front. Our will, just be signaled, big W. Just like last season, our defensive ends will line up in a four technique, head up on the offensive tackle. Our nose guard will be head up on the center. Our linebackers, our Mike and our Jack, will line up in 20 techniques, head up on the guard, five yards depth. Our will linebacker will be designated by our will call. He'll line up on the weak side, giving you an eye pro formation, strong right. If there's a tight end to the right, no tight end to the left. So our Mike and our Sam linebacker will line to the right, our Jack and our will to the left. So our will linebacker will line up to the left. He'll line up in a six technique. Six technique is head up over the tight end. We don't have a tight end on the weak side, so he'll line up in a go six about three yards outside the offensive tackle, head up of where a tight end would be. Our Sam linebacker will align an ability nine. He'll be outside of the tight end. Can be a little bit off the line of scrimmage because he has to both defend the D gap and cover his pass responsibility um, if we were to get past. So our defensive line slants when we're in our will front. First one we'll put in will be Will in, will in. Our defensive ends will slant inside to B gap. Our nose guard will slant to the opposite A from our will. So we'll go strong side A. And our will will rush off the edge into the C gap. Our Jack will be responsible for weak side A gap. Our Mike will be responsible for weak side C gap. Our Sam has D gap. Our next slant will be will slant. Will slant. And will slant. Our will's coming off the C, coming off the edge to the C gap. End to the will side. We'll be slanting into B gap. Our nose will be slanting into strong A gap. And our opposite end will be slanting away from the will into strong C gap. Jack has weak A. Mike now has weak B. Sam has D gap. Our last slant in our will front will be will wham. Will wham. We can just call it wham. Our nose and our end away from the will. We'll still be running will slant, so we'll still be slanting into A, still slanting into C. That puts Mike responsible for B, Sam responsible for D. The difference will be we'll run a twist with our end and our will. Our end will take weak side C gap. Our will will then long stick into the A gap. Our jack We'll take week B. So those are the three different slants we can run out of our will front. The next front we can run will be our Sam front. And our Sam front, our ends are still in fours, our nose is in the zero, Jack and Mike still in twenties. Only difference, shuttle's all the same, the only difference is 
Rather than the will being in a six, our sin will be in a six, and the will will be in the ability nine. We'll have the same slant calls. We'll have Sam, so Sam will be represented by the Superman sign, so it'll be Sam in, Sam in, until the ends. You're going into B gap. Nose goes opposite of the Sam. Sam rushes C gap. Mike is responsible for A gap. Jack is responsible for C gap. Just like Will, we can go Sam slant, Sam slant, this is Sam C gap, N and D gap, nose opposite A, Will or N opposite C, Mike's responsible for A gap, Jack will be responsible for B gap. And just like we went Will, Wham! We can go Sam, slam. So Sam, slam. The nose and the end will still run Sam slant. In, strong side in. We'll slant into C gap. Sam. The long stick into A. Mike will uh, be responsible for B gap. So again, those are our three line slants for Sam. We have Sam in, and it's going into B. We have Sam slant. Line is slanting away from the Sam. Then we have Sam slam, or just slam. Sam's long stick into A, and is slanting into C. Another thing we can do on our line that I want to do this year that we did not do any of last year is I would like to stem our front. A stem is just a pre-snap movement with our three defensive linemen. Every time I want, when the offense comes up to the line, I want them to see the same shell of a defense. They'll see two high safeties, linebackers in 20s, head up, defensive linemen. I want them to get that picture every single play so then they don't know what's going to happen either right before the snap or right after the snap. Then I want to change that picture and cause it to, there to be a little bit of unpredictability um, so that their coach and their quarterback cannot out-scheme us. One of the ways we'll do this is through a line stem. First stem that we'll talk about is our move. Stem. So the call here, we're in Sam. Let's say we go Sam, slant, move. We'll line up in our Sam front. The offense gets set. Before the snap, the Mike linebacker will yell. Move. On the move command, our three defensive linemen, our ends and our nose, will move into the technique that corresponds with their assignment. So if we have Sam slant, we know that we're slanting away from the sand. So on the move call, our end will move to a three tech. Our nose will move to a one tech. And our end will move to a five tech. Then we're just playing Sam slant from a pre-snap alignment. This gives the offense 
a different picture than they can than they saw when they initially got lined up can cause some confusion up front and hopefully allow us to make some big plays. The next stem that we plan on putting in is jump. We go sand, slant, jump. Just like in the move stem, we'll align in our pre-snap alignment. When the offense gets set, Mike will yell, jump. Our defensive line will then jump in the opposite direction of the call. So, N is going into B gap. He will jump into a five. Nose is going strong A or weak A. So he'll go in a strong one. And is going to C. So he'll jump into the three. And then you will return to your initial alignment before the ball snaps. Then on the snap, we'll run our Sam slant. So we'll be in our stance. We'll hear jump. We'll jump opposite of our call, then back into our initial alignment and be ready to run our slant. So that is Sam slant jump. And we can run these out of any of our slant calls, any of our base, Will or Sam, in slant, or wham and slam. Uh, so this is our preseason install for our front. This is all we're going to put in. We're going to get great at it, and, uh, and I'm excited for what it can do for us.